What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Before I start with this On Pearl review, I want to give you guys a helping hand and link you guys to the KO Foundation website by hitting my hand or giving me a high five. We'll link you there. There you can find more information about the KO Foundation organization or help donate or do anything to help fight for a cure for the woman's breast cancer awareness. Good YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we are back. We are in the honors of Tita Perla. For me, this is one of the most anticipated sneakers of the year for me. I love the whole Aunt Pearl series that Katie puts out every year. And if you guys didn't know, a portion of the sneaker does go to the KO Foundation. So not only am I getting a real dope sneaker, I'm also donating to a good cause. Let's get into this box real quick. This is my first KD7. So this is the KD7 box. You have all these intricate designs, wavy Thunderbolt, KD branding up top, Nike swooshes on your front, 35 as well, your pieces on the back. And let's get into the box details kd7 premium size 8 official colorway is white metallic gold pink pow and your premium platinum getting these out the box right off the bat it is just real real dope probably my favorite aunt pearl sneaker to date a lot of people were angry that these didn't have the floral print this didn't have the the pearl print as well that we saw on the kd5s but as you guys know i am in love in love again i can't stress this enough in love with the metallic gold hints on the nike swoosh let's get into the sneaker real quick and get in detail as always they stay true with the pearlized midsole again you see that on the hyperposite on the back used halfway through the sneaker across from the forefoot and the toe box you get this engineered mesh probably my favorite favorite part besides the strap which i will get into is that gold metallic swoosh you guys know how much i love my gold metallics and the gold metallic swoosh has this fine detailing of the feathered print that you can also find on the strap. Moving on to the strap, this is probably why this KD on Pearl is my favorite to date, is because the strap, unlike all the other straps in the KD on Pearl silhouettes, this one is in that 3D, like it is texturized. You can definitely feel and it, you can definitely see the feathers from the strap, real dope. Shout out to Leo Chang, if you guys don't know who Leo Chang is, he is the head designer, lead constructor of the KD Silhouette. I know man, that's how I do it. Leo Chang, Leo Chang. You don't know Leo Chang, do you? Do you know Leo Chang? He doesn't know Leo Chang. Like it definitely gives you that Jeremy Scott vibe if you guys seen his crazy avant-garde sneakers it definitely gives you that vibe moving on to the laces i thought it was 3m because it has that hint of stripe 3m but it is not it is still in that pure platinum and you get hints of that fly wire on the eyelids of the sneaker all throughout the laces that is in that pink pow that's an amazing name i've never heard of it but i love how nike changes these names and give it more flavor pink pow and one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is the inside of the tongue you have kevin durant's tattoo memorializing his aunt that also has the wings where we are getting the whole theme for this sneaker seen on the strap as well as on the Nike swoosh. Your heel tab will also have that KO logo as well. Moving on to the sock liner, it is in that pure platinum. Your insole will have your writtens with Kevin Durant and KO Cancer Fund in that breast cancer awareness color pink pow. This is honestly the coolest part and the one that we always look for and it is the detailings under the strap. And under this strap it says Kevin Durant and KO Cancer Fund in memory of Aunt Pearl who inspired us all to continue the fight for a cure. And also it has the four names of Wanda, Barbara, Wayne, Tony and that is basically it for this sneaker. This may not be my favorite Kevin Durant silhouette sneaker but this is definitely my favorite on Pearl today. Definitely a lot of dope detailing all around this sneaker. I cannot wait to put these on feet, so let's go. Go, 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 go
And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the on-feet portion of this video. Let me know how you guys feel about these sneakers, if how they rank in your Aunt Pearl silhouettes. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. A lot of people forget why we get these Aunt Pearl series every year, and it is because it is overshadowed by the hype and limitedness of the sneaker. So if you do have time, do check out that website. It is a great foundation for breast cancer awareness. And if you want to keep chopping it up with me, you guys can always find me on on Twitter and Instagram, both under Ralph McFly Guy. I can't thank you guys enough for watching all my videos and giving me great feedback. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. See, I'm a Filipino kid who grew up with the Hispanics, hung around the block, started talking with the accent. My shirt got